When we were first discussing what kind of uh, approach to the movie we wanted, we obviously thought, well, we should try and do something that's similar to the first movie. We should have sort of a documentary feel to the style of the movie, but we also wanted something different. You know, the, the idea was to get a director who doesn't normally make movies like this, who comes out of the independent world and who's got a slightly different bent on these things. We intended to stir away from the cliches that you can get entrapped in doing a thriller genre film. So we had looked at a lot of movies, and one of the movies that really jumped out was called Bloody Sunday, which was directed by a British director named Paul Greengrass. And we immediately saw, wow, this is the kind of guy that we want to do this movie. I think the Bourne franchise works because it's one guy against the world, and he's a real guy, and he doesn't have any secret toys in his back pocket. And above all, I think, Jason Bourne is emotionally truthful. That's what we've done here, is that feeling of realism, of truthfulness. His style is, uh, is just perfect for these, for these movies because he's got this way of, of shooting things, which is to put you in there with the guy and experience it with the guy as it's happening. Paul said um, his main interest was to make the film look as if the camera was right in there, in amongst the action and he wanted to give it a very immediate and direct feeling. You're in a car and, and you, you, know, you crash into things and you, you know, he puts you right in there. The frame is very seldom ever a rock steady Hollywood frame in which there's the frame, now the action is gonna take place in front of it. There may be a person who is behind that lens, who's watching things go on. I deliberately shot it yeah, with a lot of handheld. It's a very bold film. It doesn't look or feel at all like a kind of big studio film. It's got that kind of visceral kind of intensity. Paul felt that Bourne's world should look unconsidered. And we sort of sat there and said, okay, what does unconsidered mean? It means that it looks like it's just happened. It feels like it's unfolding right in front of you. So you invest in it as if it's almost like a live event. When you walk into some place, things look as real as they can possibly look. You actually feel that that's a real place. And because it's a real place, you know that what's going to happen to him or what he's going to make happen is going to be real. <laughs> So you become an active participant in the film rather than just sitting back and watching a whole load of special effects and big explosions. Action! In a number of occasions, we actually found the final right way of doing it while we were on set. Action! And it goes very well with this idea of giving the whole film this spontaneous look that sometimes uh, takes the audience by surprise. Yeah. As if we ourselves were taken by surprise by what was happening. Often when you're a director, you're trying to free everybody from thinking too hard, because if you think too hard, you're not instinctive. The power to move, the power to excite, the power to propel people is instinctive. Look here, we're going to shoot! Oh, 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 oh. For example, there's a scene where Kirill screeches up in his BMW, jumps out, and he fires, <coughs> and uh, Bourne gets hit. It's just pandemonium and chaos. And Paul just came up to me and said, look, I don't want to rehearse it. Let's just, let's just go for it. And we let it roll. And boy, on the first take, it was all on. And the crew was just like, what? What was that? You know? <laughs> Everyone was, uh, you know, blown away. It's perfect. The look was great. For instance, I said, all right, what's your bottom frame? You know, if I'm going to show this blood, I, you, know, you know, about here, or should I, you know? He goes, Matt, you just do it just the way you would do it, just naturally. He goes, we'll see it. And if we don't see it, we'll know what it is anyway. And then I'd say to Clements, let's not worry if the shot loses some of its formal quality. Don't worry about that, because what we gain is this intensity, the conviction with which we do it. You know, as an actor, I mean, that's the most incredible thing, because you, you can get into a habit of making adjustments to facilitate a shot. And Paul's take was you're given the freedom to do it in the way that you feel is the most real and the most honest to you in that, in that moment. And it makes for a better performance. It's like an energy. When you get it, you get magic. And it feels like you're dancing on the edge of a cliff, but it's magical. Uh, that's just fine. Thank <laughs> you.